I'm, I'm lucky that I didn't write these songs as well. I, I'm sorry that I didn't write any such songs. All I did was train the, the singers, uh, other writers, other composers wrote the songs, and I, all I did was train these people to work for the war in, in this unit. The, the, the reason I ask that is uh, it, it, it occurred to me that this might have been your beginnings as a writer. And what, what directed you toward, uh, toward writing? Because one thing that concerns me very much that I'm very interested in, having read your work, is where it, how, how it exists for you as a moral imperative, whether you are serving a cause that is much greater than, than your own perception of truth or whether your perception of truth is, the, is where it resides. Because I see that you go in, in two directions, to a great responsibility toward the nation and, and, uh, and, and the world and your own perception of the truth, and I'm trying to find which of those is, is, uh, is primary for you, if, if you understand one to be primary. I hope that's clear. I'm not a professional writer such as Robert Stone or others. I, I don't, but I, 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 would, I would disagree. I, 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 every once in a while, one discovers a, a, a writer of extraordinary power with, a, with, with a, a staggering grip on, on truth and a poetic means of making that apprehensible to to a reader, I, 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 I hope that you are, or that, that I am, uh, a writer to the degree that you are, and I don't understand why you should say that you are, that you are not. You are, in fact, uh, a writer of extraordinary gifts, an extraordinary writer. And why do you, if you'll pardon my, my, my asking a blunt question, why do you deny it? Why do you deny being a writer? <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful for your kindness, perhaps because you are of larger size and I'm a smaller person and you are freer to, to pass on these kind words. <laughs> um, while I was very young, I, I didn't have any such dream. My only dream was to become a, a champion of table tennis. And perhaps with you, to be a writer is to live in, in a very prestigious castle, but that's very far from me. I didn't really think about it. I would trade it in a minute for table tennis. But you are absolutely right. We had been uh, mistaken and been taken for a ride. Và cái hành vi đầu tiên của tôi viết văn để nói rằng là chúng tôi đã bị lừa và để và để những cái đứa trẻ phía sau chúng tôi đừng mắc lừa chúng tôi nữa. And so we wrote so that we we could tell that we'd been misguided and so that the next generation would not be so misguided. So I help me out. What's the word for lừa? Deceived. Thank you. Just escaped me. Và tôi nghĩ rằng nhân loại luôn luôn có khả năng bị lừa. 
and humanity has the, the possibility of always being deceived. Bởi các nhà chính trị gia, bởi các lãnh tụ tôn giáo. Deceived by leaders of religion, um, by politicians. Và bởi vì những cái sự nguyên rủa của lịch sử mà chúng ta cũng không thể hiểu biết được. The destinies within the history that we don't understand. Và tất cả của chúng ta chỉ có thể hiểu biết được luôn luôn là chậm trễ. What we come to understand always come too late. Is, is, does that mean then that Keats tells us truth is beauty, beauty truth, that, that, that these are equivalent? Is that the, is that the morality of, of the writing life, that the truth is beautiful because, because it denies the false, because it's true? And recognized becomes recognizably true. Is that the core of writing? Tôi, uh, câu, câu hỏi này thì hơi rắc rối. À, hơi, để giả lời nó thì tôi xin mượn một câu thơ của nhà thơ Hungary. To, to answer this question, I'd like to borrow a, a line of poetry from a Hungarian poet. Petofi is a poet that I have loved since I was a, a young, young girl. He wrote beautiful lines about love. Okay. This is difficult. Um, <laughs> Love is like an ocean. Um, happiness is like a, a piece of jade, perhaps. Jam, a gem, a jewel. Once you find a gem in the middle of the ocean. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> so then that that would be completely broken, destroyed. Uh, there would be nothing left, if, if I may, but good enough? No. Approved. <laughs>